What's going on guys? It's Kurt from Kurt's Cottage. So I converted this Batavis moped into an e-bike. So I swapped out the 50cc two-stroke engine and I put this 24 volt lawnmower motor on the bike. So this moped was sitting around doing nothing. So one day I was like, hey, let's just, <laughs> let's just build a project with it. So this is what I did. And it's really, really simple, really basic. So there's no electronics, there's nothing on here that an amateur couldn't put together. So I tighten the belt up and if you hit the switch here, it doesn't slip, so it gets going a lot better. That's better. That's all it needed. So it goes about as fast as it did with the gas engine on it. Two stroke uh, 50cc engine. Four volt lawnmower motor here. It's just attached with a piece of angle iron or a piece of flat stock. I put this rod on here. This went together. This is just a piece I found and I weld it to protect, I guess, the belt. I don't know. I just randomly put this together and then I weld in another piece of angle iron here and it bolts into the top of the motor. And then this bolts into the original bike here. This pulley here was off an electric motor, so I converted that to go on. You can see my arrows so I know the direction. This is a belt drive bike, so it's really simple to convert. And so I've bolted it down here. Oh, I have another bracket here coming off the bottom that bolts here. So it's holding by these two bolts on the motor. I don't, oh yeah, and there's a piece down at the bottom. So it's actually held in three spots. So the motor's on there really good. The relay's in there. That was out of the lawnmower motor. Uh, the wires are just household, you know, uh, residential 10 gauge uh, copper wire, solid copper wire. So the batteries are hooked up in a series circuit. So we get the 24 volts. I have a breaker on here, 100 amp breaker. It's a 100 amp relay in there. And then all I have is a switch. So if you know anything about relays, the switch is just low voltage. And basically you're just turning on and off a larger switch to control a high current, which you can't just switch the motor on and off with this switch because it would melt. There you go, you can see the relay right there. So the switches here were actually off of a kid's electric Jeep. You probably recognize these. So you have two new batteries on this thing, it would be a lot better. All right, so what's holding the batteries on is just a, some two by fours and they're just stacked where they actually hold the battery around the outside of the battery. It's cut them to the size of the battery, actually a little small, so they're tighter when they were screwed together, so they hold the battery in tight and it's just two by fours. <laughs> and then this is just a tie down strap holding it for now. Um, better way to do this is to put, build some kind of a bracket. I didn't want to damage the moped because I'm gonna actually put the engine back on one day and maybe get it going. So I have two car batteries here. They're in a series circuit. They're both 12 volts. So all you have to do is hook positive of the one battery to the negative of the other battery. And then you have your uh, positive to the, to the relay. It connects from there onto the motor. And there's no electronics on this. Now, the idea here was to put together an electric bike with using just scrap and no electronics. So there's no electronics, there's no hub motors, there's no controllers, there's no electronics at all. Anyone can build this. Unfortunately, it's not the best thing to do. So you only have on and off, that's it. I did have it set up where I could go 12 volts and then 24 volts, but it wasn't necessary. So I have some other footage here. I towed a little, a little trailer behind with two batteries. <laughs> what have I done now? All right, so the trailer hitch was just made from a lawnmower handle welded onto the bike here. So we have a bicycle trailer here 
This is just an old bicycle trailer. I don't even know where it came from, but someone dropped it off here. We have our green batteries. This is our 24 volt setup. We, I've used some residential uh, breakers here. That's always good. You can always use them. We have the lawnmower relay. Okay, so we'll take a look at how this thing works. This is the 100 amp relay. So it's controlled with um, 24 volts. And once you apply current to the field coil, this, this coil here, it energizes this coil, pulls this down, and then allows the 24 volts to flow through and then over to the, through the motor. Oh yeah. Oh man, this is ridiculous. So if I could get rid of the 80 pounds of batteries that are on here, I think there's about 80 pounds, 100 pounds, and with the wood and all that, then this thing would go a lot faster. Thanks for watching and peace out.